Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Toy Punks. My name is Christo and today I'm going to be unboxing the NECA Mutagen Canister Prop Replica. This is a replica of the canister from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that came out back in 1991. However, this is a brand new replica that just came out in January of 2018. This is Toy Punks number 29 and this is the first Toy Punks episode of the year so I hope you guys enjoy it. For the music, we've got Municipal Waste lined up from the album Hazardous Mutation. I don't think I even need to explain why we picked this band for this prop replica. I think it's self-explanatory. So grab yourself a slice of pizza, kick back in that chair, and enjoy the video. Cowabunga, dudes. All right, guys. Check this thing out. This thing is awesome. You can take a look at the box. It's got the uh, picture of the canister. It's got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo from the movie from the 90s. It says the Mutagen Canister prop Replica down here at the bottom. You've got the Nickelodeon logo up top in the corner. And then uh, if you take a look here, it's got a cut from the poster, basically. This is the poster that came out for the movie back in the, back in the 90s. It's got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo, and then you can see you got New York City in the background corner here you got the real toys logo again nickelodeon and neca down here in the corner flip it around to the back here and you can take a look it's got a little bit of information over here i'm not going to read this whole thing this is just a little quick description of the ooze if you want to check that out and then over here you got a couple pictures it shows that it's battery operated and how to access the compartment how it comes apart and then it also shows you that it's got a jar of ooze my favorite part of this right here is if you take a look at the back here, it's got the NECA logo down here, but it's not actually the NECA logo. That's the logo from, uh, I believe it used to say F-H-E. Um, that came out on the different, uh, on all the VHS tape that you would get, you know, the ones that you get from Burger King for the Ninja Turtles and stuff back in the 90s. So I think that's really cool that they did that. It's just a nice little, uh, little throwback, little acknowledgement of the old VHS tapes there. On the bottom here, Flip it around. It's kind of interesting that it comes with batteries, but they just tape these batteries onto the back of the box, so it's kind of weird. It's just three loose batteries. Not a bad thing, but uh, just kind of interesting that they chose to go that route. And then you got a little bit of uh, information about you know the batteries, your barcode, all that other stuff. If you want to take a look at all this fine information, you can take a pause and check that. Otherwise, you got the you know the info on uh, all the NECA people, director paint, sculpting, all that good stuff. That takes care of the box pretty much. It looks pretty cool again. Like I said, you've got the green ooze down here at the bottom, and you got the little red and black uh, warning signs as well to kind of uh, match your canister. Oh, and then on the side here, it's taped shut, and you can see it's just got some uh, promo photos of the canister itself there on the side as well. Same thing on this side. It shows off the glowing effect. So this thing's really cool. I'm really excited to get this. I just picked it up. Just got it in the mail from NECA today. It's a brand new uh, thing. And it just came out January 2018. And uh, let's go ahead and check this thing out. Toy Punks. Toy. All right, guys, I got to be careful because we got a uh, radioactive material spill here, but we're going to go ahead and check out this canister real carefully. I got some, I got my gloves on so that way I don't get any uh, any ooze on me. So take a look at this thing. It's really big. Um, it's a lot bigger of a canister than I expected it to be, which is actually really cool because it's going to look awesome when they do come out with those baby turtles, and you can stand them up right in front of the cracked ooze canister. It's going to be sweet. So we'll get right into it. We'll take a look real quick. We'll just show you here. You saw on this on the speed up how I take how you can open this up here, and uh, on one side is where you have the battery area, so you can turn it on and off, and you can also screw and unscrew that here and replace the batteries as needed. And then this just pops right on real easily. And then on the other side, this one pops open as well. And inside here a little oh we got to be careful there there's the radioactive material it seems to be contained right now 
so hopefully we can keep it contained here and check it out. So it's TCRI right here. You can check that out. It looks pretty radioactive to me. It does not look safe. This is uh, looks like batch CG2, if you can see right there. Radioactive material, hazardous. That's why I got the gloves on. I'm safe. So check that out. I'm actually not. I'm not going to open this because I don't want to get any of this ooze on me. I don't need to transform into anything. I know. I've seen the movie. I know how this goes. So. That's the ooze canister. It's really cool on its own. Well, that's the ooze tub, I guess I should say. But And then, again, back to the canister. So you can just pop that other side back on for the piece and keep it closed. And then, there you go, you have it. You can check out the paint job here. It's got CG2, which I believe is actually the can number that uh, ends up being the missing can that is the one that turns the turtles into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. And then you can see here in the paint, let me see if I can focus a little bit, but it's actually dirty, which is really cool. There's little spots of dirt here and like mud, like little streaks on everything, which is really cool because, I mean, it should be a canister that's laying down in the mud in the sewer and it's disgusting, so it should be kind of dirty and gross. Flip it around on this side, it's got the TCRI logo. So, you know, you can hold that with the classic shredder pose where you just, you know. And uh, they went with, it looks like the TCRI on here, obviously, instead of the TGRI, which TGRI is what they used in the movie. That's the Techno Global Research Institute, and it's been compared to the Cosmic. Um, I believe what they did was they used Global to make it seem a little more down to earth and uh, not as far fetched, which is kind of funny considering it's a movie about mutant turtles, but in the crack here you can see that uh, it's open on and if you look on the inside I'll see if I can focus in on there but it's just got a green LED light in there which is really pretty awesome I like that they did that because you can set this up and leave the LED running it's about as good as it's gonna get for, uh, you can kinda see there inside that it's got the LED lights in there and again right here is your switch Turn it off. And then you can kind of see, you can see it's pretty dark in there. I mean, you don't even see anything if you have it off. So it's really awesome. I like it a lot. There's a lot of nice details. You get the warning hazardous material in there. You know, it's a plastic container canister, um, but it looks really similar to the one from the movie. I'm really happy with this. I like it a lot. I'm a big Ninja Turtles fan. I love that movie. I loved watching that movie when I was a kid. I still do. Showed it to my son. He loves it. You know, I mean, this is a really cool thing to have. I like that they, they're doing these proper replicas. I know that they're coming out with the Casey Jones mask next. That's going to be awesome. I'm going to have to get that. So we'll probably get a video for you on there. And, uh, yeah. And then they also, I mean, they got the quarter scale Ninja Turtles coming out still from the movie. They're making the Shredder figure. They're making a Foot Soldier. So, I mean, I'm hoping they do a Splinter, maybe a Case of Jones, April. It would be really awesome. Um, hopefully they keep doing this line, because I'm loving the stuff that NECA's making with these uh, from these movies. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you like the canister. Make sure to check it out yourself. If you want to grab one, grab it before they're gone. Toy Punks. Oi. So that about wraps it up for episode number 29 here at Toy Punks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you like the prop replica. Personally, I really like it a lot. I think NECA did a great job. It looks pretty much exactly like it should look based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie from 1991. I hope you like the music. Again, that was Municipal Waste. The album is Hazardous Mutation. If you like them, you can check them out on Facebook, and you can check them out also on Spotify. Be sure to hit us up on Facebook, hit us up on Instagram, Twitter, give us a like, give us a subscribe, let us know what you think in the comments. As always, thanks for watching, and be sure to be on the lookout for some new content coming from Toy Punks coming up. we got a little information coming up for this week, so stay tuned and enjoy. Toy Punks, oi!